Uh, page 5, number 2. The value of a car decreases every year according to the function v of t equals 26,000 x of t. And I'm going to rewrite this for it. Rewrite this so that it's a little bit bigger. 26,000 uh, euros x of t. This is a little bit different than what we're used to seeing. Uh, one, because um, <clears throat> it doesn't have uh, x's and y's where we typically saw them before. Uh, usually we're used to seeing the x and the y's here and here. This was usually an x and this was usually a y, right? Um, and then we have an x here, which is really weird, okay? Remember, this is the multiplier. This uh, number, um, depending on if it's greater than 1 or less than 1, makes the exponential function go down or go up, okay? Uh, and they're not giving it to us here. Uh, let's see what it is. V is the value of the car. Uh, T is the number of years after it was first bought. And X is a constant. Okay, so actually, this is a number. The X is a number. They just didn't tell us what it is yet. Okay, don't get scared. Read on. First it says, write down the value of the car when it was first bought. Um, let's see. It seems like you don't have any way of knowing that. Uh, but let's see. If we know when it was first bought, what time would it be when it's first bought? T is the number of years after it was first bought. So T would be zero when it's new, right? So let's do this. We're going to rewrite the function. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to put y instead of v. And I'm going to put 26,000. And then I'm going to put the multiplier, what they call x. And then I'm going to substitute t equals zero. Um, and then you say, but I still don't know what x is. But, uh, what is any number to the x? What is five billion, or what, what is any number to the zero? What is five billion to the zero power? What is one to the zero power? What is negative five to the zero power? Anything to the zero power is one. So the minute you know that you're looking at the cost of the car when it was first bought, you know that you're just multiplying it times one. So all of a sudden you have the um, value of the car when it was first bought. It happens to be this uh, constant, which is out front. Okay? So, and that's always true. Alright? So, for A, we know that the value of the car when it was first bought is 26,000 euros. After one year, the value of the car is 22,100 euros. Find the value of, of x. Okay. So, let's rewrite the function again. y equals 26,000 x to the t. Okay, now, after one year. So what's the time after one year? The time is 1. 22,100 euros. Where does that go? Well, remember, this value here to the left is the value of the car at any time in t. In this case, time equals uh, 1. And they tell us it's 22,100. So we can fill that in, too. 22,100 equals 26,000 x to the t. x to the t is x to the 1. What's x to the 1? What is 26,000 to the 1? What is 2 to the 1? What is 5 to the 1? What is negative 8 to the 1? Anything to the 1 is itself. So x to the 1 is x. So now I have 22,100 equals 26,000 times x. How do I find out what x is? I divide both sides by 26,000. And I'm going to get x is equal to 22,100 divided by 26,000. I'm going to do that with the offline calculator. 26,000 divided by 22,100. You get 1.18. Okay? So, uh, now I know the complete equation. It is v of t equals 26,000 times 1 point, whoops, 
I, I did that wrong. I should get a number less than one, right? Because a car is always going to be worth less than it was the year before. So actually the number is 0.85. Sorry about that. 0 0.85. So the multiplier is 0 0.85. And then the variable is the, the time t, right? Okay, so now we have our function, our exponential function. And now that we have an exponential function, first thing we want to do is we want to put it in the calculator. When we put it in the calculator, we're going to replace the d of t with y, and we're going to replace time with x, because that's kind of what we're used to, and that's what the calculator expects. So we're going to go into y equals, and then we're going to clear what's there, and I'm going to put in uh, 26,000. 0.85 to the x. Oops, not twice, just once. Okay, then I'm going to graph it. And then I'm going to answer the next question, which is calculate the number of years that it will take for the car's value to fall to less than 6,000 euros. Okay, so uh, you notice that I can't see it. The reason why I can't see it is because it's way up there. 26,000 is a very high y-intercept. We can see it by doing zoom fit. We don't really need to see it because what we really want to do is we want to look at the table. So let's do zoom fit just to take a look at it. Zoom fit automatically adjusts the height so that everything fits in. So there we go. There's 26,000 and it slowly decreases afterwards. Now I'm going to find out when does it hit 6,000. Second table. Okay. So I'm going to start with 26,000 in your, uh, at the very beginning. Oops. Yeah, that's right. 26,000 at t equals 0. At t equals 1 is 22,100. So after one year, 22,100. Now I'm going to go down a little bit, see how long it takes to get to 6,000. Oh, well, there we go. Year 9, it hits 6,022. But it says fall to less than 6,000. So it'd have to be year 10. After 10 years, it hits 5118.7. So the number of years it takes before it hits less than 6,000 would be y equals 10, or t equals, t equals 10 years. t equals 10. Okay, so there's the answer for c. Uh, there's the answer for b. And here's the answer for a. Okay, now let's say I wanted a very accurate answer for when it hits 6,000. One thing I can do is I can put the, uh, the cursor on 9, and I can change the step size to 0.1. And look at that, I'm getting uh, a more close answer. So even 9.1 years is enough to get uh, below 6,000. What if I wanted an even closer answer? Then I would do plus 0 0.01. And this is answer is as close as you need for the IB. Look at that. So 9 point, let's see, when does it get right below 6,000? There we go, 9.03. So 9.03 years, if we want to be really exact, it's going to hit, it's going to be slightly below uh, 6,000 euros. Okay, that's the end for number two.